Hi guys, I'm not going to do a sprinkle today due to the fact that something dreadful has happened. It happens to us all eventually. It happens to each and every one of our members of family. Sorry, I'm a little bit dehydrated. I'm out cycling on the bike. So, firstly, I'd just like to say that blue is pretty. I'm so sorry for your loss. For anyone who doesn't know, blue is pretty. She's a wonderful, wonderful southern girl who loves her family so dearly and she's just lost her baby she's just lost uh, uh, I suppose a fetus that's only a few months so my heart does go out to you and I hope that your love for the, the existing children does become stronger you're a good person also before I went to bed last night I had a personal message from my sister who is also on YouTube, uh, uses it every day but never makes any vlogs, only doing music, watching music. She sent me a personal message because I have an auntie, an auntie who, when we were children, we were very close. And her children, Lucia and Ricardo, um, we were the family that would go and see each other on a Saturday. We were the family that, if the occasion rose, we would meet up on a Sunday. Every year, from as long as I can remember, we went on holidays together. Well, now, whether that would be Butlins, St. Ives, or whether it was a uh, day out to France. And in later years, the youngest of the two cousins, Lucia, we would uh, hop on a an aeroplane with permission of parents from the ages of 13 hop on a plane and go and stay with family in Italy so we were very close but as you do when you get older times change you do different things you wonder you know after with relationships you, you, you move on but the love and respect for a cousin, will, well, for my cousins, will be there forevermore. But just recently, my auntie, um, we found that she had cancer, a cancer. And being uh, a young man in the family, we don't really get told what these things are. Um, I feel I'm going to have to move from here because there's a tractor coming and he's spraying the fields and who knows what could be in that spray. Pesticides! So when I went to England, I, uh, I went to visit my auntie and well at first she came to visit my mum and my dad and you know obviously she'd had the chemotherapy <laughs> looking as beautiful as she did, ever did and uh, well basically what happened was after a couple of times she came to visit obviously I was working so I never really got chances to see her that much and but I did get to see her I also got to see um, my cousin Lucia I also got to see my cousin Ricardo and you know it was really nice and I also got to see my other cousin uh, who is much younger than us so you know we didn't have any kind of uh, contact from growing up but only a little bit Anyhow, Francesca's also a very wonderful, beautiful, intelligent girl. And so the last time I saw my auntie was at uh, the hospital and she was uh, in a room on her own. And, you know, she, was, she wasn't full of the joys of spring, but she was, she was coherent talking and, you know, we had a really nice chat. Um, I gave her a kiss as well. When we was young, up to being about 16, 17 years old, every time that I saw my auntie Anna, I would always give her a kiss. But as I got a little bit older, I think I, I became a little bit embarrassed to be kissing an auntie. And yet, 
I always wanted to, and I'm sure she would never refuse me to give her a kiss because she was such a wonderful person. And I wanted to make this vlog today to celebrate her life. I wanted to to say that she was wonderful. I wanted I wanted everybody to know that she contributed to me having the most wonderful life that a person could could ever wish for. Um, and certainly in, in my very younger days. Thank you, Auntie Anne. Thank you very much. Rest in peace.